Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to take you through the really basic basics of applying blusher. I'm going to start with powder blush and also talk about liquid blush and uh, cream blush as well. So to start with I have moisturised, I've cleansed and I've put foundation on as well. Finished it off with some translucent powder for a matte finish. So to start with, with the powder blusher I'm going to use this 17 blusher in first flush. Nice and cheap, really good quality for the price. Um, I'm using this Eco Tools brush, nice rounded one. You can also use a fan brush, this one's by Smashbox. It's actually made with natural fibres, but um, today I'm just going to show you with this one because they're easier to get hold of. So start by uh, loading up your brush with the product. Don't get too much on because it'll just be overload. Tap off the excess. And then starting from the apple of your cheek, work in a kind of swoosh, following the line of your cheekbone up to your temple but you want to blend it out as much as you possibly can so it looks like a natural glow rather than a stripe of colour. I'm using kind of circular strokes to blend it out as much as I can and I'm keeping it on the cheekbone, lower down, not going over to the rest of my cheek. And I find that by doing this you can really define your cheekbone rather than just making your whole cheek pink. You want to really focus it on where you've caught the sun or where you might catch the sun. It really is as simple as that. Um, if you do find you put too much product on, you can either, either use a tissue to get some of it off or use a, a thick powder brush with some um, face powder on just to blend it out a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to have a look at liquid blushes. Um, you, you might have heard of uh, Benefit um, Benetint, which is one of the most famous ones. This one is by Me Me Me, and it's called Cupid's Kiss. Um, it's actually a good dupe of um, Benefit's Poppy Tint, which is something I really love, but it's very expensive. So rather than using the brush that comes in the lid and applying it straight onto my cheek, because it dries quite quickly, it's quite hard to blend. So um, I'm just going to apply some onto a plastic palette, just a few strokes, because this actually goes quite far. I find um, liquid blush is really good to give you a kind of pick-me-up glow, especially if you're hungover or not feeling too good. So I'm dabbing the brush in the liquid, and again from the cheek, apple of your cheek, just outwards towards your temple, using round strokes. I really love this product. It gives you such a beautiful glow and it's not expensive either. So finally we've got cream blush. This is Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blush in Coral Reef. Um, I'm a huge fan of Revlon and it was exciting when these they brought these new cream blushes out. This one's lovely and brightly pigmented. So um, use it, you can actually use your fingers to apply this. I find it easier. So get a little bit on your fingers and starting from the apple of your cheek again, go work it out towards the, the temple. You can really build this up from a, a really subtle glow to a massive pop of colour, depending on what you feel. It's a really lovely consistency, it's almost powdery to the touch. And again, you can top that off with a bit of loose powder if you want. And that's it.